The book of Samuel is traditionally attributed to the prophet Samuel, a key figure in Israel's transition from the period of judges to the establishment of the monarchy. Samuel plays a pivotal role in anointing Saul as Israel's first king and later anointing David as his successor. Samuel's writings provide a narrative thread that spans critical events in Israel's history and offers spiritual insight and guidance. The story of David and Goliath is a timeless narrative resonating across generations. This gripping story unfolds in a pivotal moment in Israel's history, providing valuable insight into faith, courage, and the power of trusting in God. Now, keep in mind, this was a tumultuous period in Israel's history. The Israelites were engaged in a protracted conflict with their perennial adversaries, the Philistines. The setting was the Valley of Elah, a region that would witness one of the most remarkable showdowns in biblical history. The Philistine champion, Goliath, a colossal figure standing over nine feet tall, emerged as a symbol of intimidation, striking fear in the hearts of the entire, or almost entire, Israelite army. Israel has a rich history of divine intervention, but even with that, they're grappling with a crisis of faith. The absence of a strong leader compounds their fear and uncertainty, and into this volatile mix steps the young shepherd David, whose courage and unwavering trust in God becomes a beacon of hope, but becomes a little problem for the king Saul. In this lesson, David, a mere shepherd and the youngest son of Jesse, volunteers to face Goliath. King Saul doesn't feel that this boy is up to the challenge. But David recounts how while tending his father's sheep, he had faced and defeated lions and bears. But David's confidence is not rooted in his own strength, but in the faithfulness of God who delivered him in those past encounters. For all of us, this establishes a crucial principle that our faith is strengthened by remembering God's faithfulness to us in our lives. As David confronts Goliath, he declares that the battle is not his, but the Lord's. While Goliath trusts in his overwhelming physical prowess and weapons, David places his trust in the living God. This juxtaposition highlights the contrast between worldly reliance and divine trust. David's victory is not just a military victory. It is a testament to the power of faith in God's might even when confronting an opponent with, over, with an overwhelming advantage. The climactic moment in this account sees David using a sling and a stone to bring down a mighty giant. The symbolism here is profound. Seemingly insignificant tools in the hands of a faithful servant can overcome the most formidable challenges. David's triumph echoes the theme that God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. The story of David and Goliath serves as a timeless guide for Christians facing challenges in their daily lives. Goliath may not always manifest as a literal giant, but it can take the form of daunting circumstances, personal fears, and societal pressures. From this confrontation, we can learn several things. First, courage in the face of adversity. David's courage emanated from his trust in God's faithfulness. Similarly, modern Christians are called to face challenges with unwavering faith, knowing that God is with them, for he has been with them throughout their lives. Second, reliance on God's strength. The contrast between Goliath's reliance on physical might and weaponry and David's trust in God's power 
underscores the importance of seeking divine strength in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Third, acknowledging God as the ultimate victor. David's acknowledgement that the battle belonged to the Lord teaches us to surrender our struggles to God. In our daily challenges, we must recognize that God is the ultimate victor and brings peace and assurance even when we're in the midst of a hard battle. Fourth, using what God has provided. While Goliath had armor and weaponry, David is out there with a sling and a stone. It reminds us that God equips us with unique gifts and resources and what we need to face our challenges, trusting in God's provisions, even if it seems unconventional, leads to victory. As we face our giants, the example of David's unwavering trust in God guides us to triumph over our challenges, knowing that the battle belongs to God. That's the lesson for this week. Have a great week. Bye.